All right, welcome to part two of our discussion about optics and why they matter and what, what some of the differences are out there. Just as a brief recap, in the last first part, we learned that uh, without optics, LEDs definitely have a bright spot directly underneath them. That's why you see a lot of uh, LEDs uh, end up making some sort of like a spider looking thing that spreads out over a four by four foot area because they've got to get those hot spots spread out as much as possible. Uh, when you're using optics, non-standard ones like Sciences, uh, you know, this is a 1200 watt light, but the light is coming from a very small area, four inch by 44 inch area. Uh, and it's because of the optics that push it out onto the, ang the angle, uh, which is why we're able to have such a small form factor. Uh, but let's talk about what happens when you put multiple lights together uh, of our Science lights where the, the light is pushed out to the edges. So I do four lights up here. And with our 120 degree optics, let's say the beam looks something like this. So that's what a single light might look like, right? Um, to start with, let's say that the average canopy is at this level. Uh, let's just call this 24 inches. What happens is, as we start to put these lights together in an array, we start to see crossover, right? So even at 24 inches, we're seeing two lights crossing over each other. What's interesting is, as we go to call it 48 inches, now we start to see spaces like this, right? We have three lights crossing over. And as we go down to six feet over, we start to see up to four lights crossing over each other. So what does this mean? Well, it means a couple things. One, it means if you've got high ceilings, you mount your light once, even if it's as high as six feet over the canopy. Once your plants come out of the vegetative stage and you move them into this flowering stage, they're actually going to see, and we've got uh, charts that map all this out, the exact same amount of, of par value, that micromoles per second here, as you do here, as you do here. They're the same. So your plants can grow another three to four feet, and they're seeing the same amount of energy the whole way. The other way to look at this is, is if your plants are already here, the light penetrating down into the canopy, it's not diminishing. You're getting light all the way down at the same exact par value, four feet down. So you don't just get a really nice canopy full of fruit and nugs, you get it all the way down to the roots. So hopefully this really shows the value of pushing the light out onto the edges, which is what our patented optics do, and how it really changes the growing game for LEDs.